Hey, it's Patty from PS Paper Crafts. Welcome to my video today. I'm glad you could join me. I wanted to show you today how to make this card. It's a birthday card. Here's celebrating to you. And it says happy birthday. Um, it's kind of girly. I think it's very pretty. I use this perennial birthday um, set in the occasions catalog. It's got a lot of nice um, sayings and some pretty flowers. So um, I think I'll get a lot of use out of this. I'm going to make a couple more videos using this set as well. So I'm using powder pink paper and then the designer series paper I'm using is um, this uh, sweet sweet soiree. I've used quite a bit of it. Um, I've cut up a lot of it. I have a lot of it in short pieces, so I'll just show you. Um, one side has gold, uh, I'm sorry, silver, um, and then the other side is more paper. Um, so I think they're really beautiful. I hope I'm not blinding you with the silver, um, but it's really pretty paper. So I figured I would use that um, just to give it a pop of color. And I'm also using Marina Mist and then the powder pink. Um, this ribbon that I'm using is also, it's a white organza ribbon and it is in the Occasions catalog as well. So let's get started. I have everything cut. I have my, um, my card base is a half of a piece of eight and a half by 11 and I just cut it in half. Um, so I have five and a half this way and then this I have scored at four and a quarter. And then I have a layer of the Marina Mist. This is five and a half, so it goes end to end. And this is two and a, an eighth. And I think two and an eighth. Let's see. Yeah, two and an eighth. You could do two and a quarter if you wanted it bigger, but I wanted it kind of small. And then this is two inches by five and a half. Um, so I just wanted that little border to, to pop out. Um, I did do my stamping. I just stamped with powder pink ink to give it kind of a watermark look. So let's get that done first. So I have my powder pink ink pad. And I did some of the flowers from this set. I did the, this flower and this flower and then these dots. So I'm just going to, you know, put them around um, all, all around and kind of go off the paper just here and there. Kind of give it a background. Um, usually if I have a big stamp, I would uh, do the bigger stamp and then fill in with smaller, but these are kind of the same size. <laughs> so I'm just going to do these, um, and then I can fill in however I want. We'll do some of this one. So I'm really just stamping it around. So you see the pink on pink, it just kind of gives it a, um, a watermark. You can also do this with the Versamark if you wanted to. It kind of works the same way. Um, and let me do one over here. And then I'll just line this up and see how it looks. See if I have enough. I think I'll put some things up here as well. Um, let's see. I'll put another one of these up here. And... I just wanted to kind of show through and I think I'll put some of these down at the bottom so you could just you know fuss around with it to make it look how you want it I think that's good so we'll get rid of these um, and then all I did was adhere these together and I am going to use the liquid glue you could use snail with this, but I, I like to sometimes use the liquid glue just to make sure I have some um, little bit of time to before it sticks permanently to move it around to get it to where I want it. So that looks good. And then we will do the um, here's to celebrating you. I'm going to just put this in the Marina Mist ink. And I'll put that on the white for the label, and then I'll show you how I back that label. So I'm just going to make sure it looks good. Okay. And I'll just do it here. Hopefully that will work with the label punch. So this is the pretty label punch. And you just push this forward to unlock it. And then you can kind of line it up 
however you want it. So that looks about right. And punch it out. I love punching out instead of using the big shot if I can. And then I put a little bit of um, this flower in the powder pink. This one, yeah, um, around each side. So I have that one mounted as well. And I'm just going to put it over here. I don't know if you hear that noise in the background. That's my dog chewing a bone. So I hope it's not distracting you. I don't know if you can hear it. So I have that. And then I also wanted to do um, a behind the label um, with that same punch. So to give it like a little bit of a border, so I'm just going to punch this out and then I'm going to cut it in half and um, leave a little space, a little gap to make it give us a border. So let me get my trimmer and you could do this with scissors if you wanted as well. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line this up and try to get it in the middle. Not the end of the world if it's not perfect. Just kind of go down and cut it in the middle. So now I have two pieces. And what I'll do is I'll glue these to the back so you have a little bit of room. It'll leave a little gap, but I'm going to put the ribbon there. So we're, we're all good with that. So I'm going to just put some glue on this. And again, having the glue gives you a little bit of fudge time. So you can get it exactly where you want it. I don't really want it to be too big of a, a border, but just enough to pop out. And then I'll do the same thing with this one. And I'll just put that down. And just move it into the position that I want it. Oops. Oh boy. I didn't put it in place very good. So let's just pull this off. Okay, so that looks good. So there is a little bit of a gap, but that's okay. We're gonna put our ribbon around this piece. And I like to just put a piece of plain old Scotch tape um, you could put some snail here, but I think scotch tape is just as easy. Just put a piece. And put that around. And then we'll just cut this. So it's coming together. Then I'm going to just put a little Tombow glue on this, the multi-purpose liquid glue. And lay this in place. That looks good. We will pop this up with some dimensionals which I know I have, because I just used them. Give me one second. I don't know where I put them down. Here they are. They were underneath something. So I'm going to put some dimensionals on this. I'll put one on each top, the bottom, and each side. Take these off. The release paper. So it's coming together. We're almost done. And we will put this a little bit off to the side because I am going to tie a bow, hopefully easily. So we'll just tie a little bow here and attach that with a glue dot. And we'll just put that kind of on the side. So let's get this going. Just fuss with it a little bit. Okay, that's good. Cut off the ends. And then I'll get a glue dot and um, 
What happened to my glue dots? There they are. Can't see anything today for some reason. It's all underneath other things. So we'll put this on with a glue dot right next to the sentiment on this pretty label. And the outside is done. And then I just want to put the inside on. So I have a piece of um, five and a five and a quarter by four is what I do for the inside. Is this the right one? I think I have another one. Ooh, I think I cut that other one. You know what? It was this piece. So let me just cut this down real quick. Bear with me one second. So I want five and a quarter by four. So I had the one end right. Just cut that off a little bit. There you go. So I had the piece, but I just used it for something else. So before we put it down, we're going to do our happy birthday. And I also used that from this set, the big happy birthday. So there's a lot of little birthday type things. So we'll do that in the Marina Mist. And I just like to always test it. And I'm going to put that a little bit up toward the top so that you can write a little little something below. And then on this one I put a uh, flower and some dots, so I'm going to do the same thing. Get rid of that, pull in the powder pink, and I'll just do a flower up here, flower down here, and then I'll put a few dots here and there. I think just here, I think I only did a couple of them. Okay, so that looks good. And I will just put this down with some snail. Get this out of the way so we don't make a mess. And we'll be done. So that was pretty quick. Um... And I think it's a pretty card. Again, it's kind of girly. I'll make some masculine cards one of these days as well. So let me know what you think. I've got kind of a mess on my hands. Um, but I think it's pretty. And uh, I like this designer series paper. really makes it pop a little bit. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Um, again, we're in the... Um, occasions catalog and celebrations so if you spend fifty dollars or more you'll or for every fifty dollars you'll get a free celebration item uh, some are with a fifty dollar purchase and some are with a hundred you could do two fifties and get two um two celebration items but if you don't have a catalog let me know and i would love to get you one um and i if you have any questions let me know i will talk to you soon you have a good day thank you bye